Morning, everybody. As you know, it is Autism Awareness Month. Uh, last week, we had a chat with Bullet Autism School, uh, just for educational purposes. Um, and today, we've got uh, Byron Coulson here. And Byron Coulson started a project called Keen Coulson Autism Awareness Project. Of course, his son, Keen Coulson, 11 years old, um, has also been diagnosed with autism. So we just want to chat to him a bit about the project, creating awareness for uh, autism in the community. Uh, one of the things we chatted about last week is a platform uh, where parents can maybe come together and chat more about autism. And I think this is probably something uh, Byron's Keen Coulson Autism Awareness Project does. Goeiemorgen, meneer. Hoe gaan dit? Hoe rijp man self, Miles? Alright, cool, man. Ik hou van die t-shirt. Awesome dad. Awesome autism dad. Autism dad, yeah. <laughs> um, Byron, cool. So, say for me a bit, tell us a bit about the awareness project. Why you started? I see you started in 2020, November. Yeah. And yeah, so why did we start and what is the, what you call it, the, the vision and the mission of it? Yeah, we started last in November, um, purely because uh, I picked up that there's a big need in the lower income community mm. in terms of diagnosis and also um, treatment and therapy. So that is basically the reason why I started. I went to school at Magnolia Primary and Charles mm. New Secondary, which is um, really the lower income yeah. uh, side of Paul. And so I have a, a connection with the people there. Okay. And obviously, uh, spending loads of money on, on Keen for treatment and stuff, I realized that, look, there's, how, how are that people being assisted? Mm -hmm. There's no one helping them mm -hmm. to get the kids diagnosed or treatment or anything like that. Yeah. So that is basically why I started right. um, the project. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, tell me, so if you're saying the lower income um, household, so... What are the challenges in terms of diagnosing kids? Because, I mean, now the kid will get home, parents don't really know about autism, so that's, I think that's what your project is doing. Um, what is the experience with the parents um, when the kids have these, um, has autism characteristics? Uh, what do they do and how do they... You see, you see, the thing is that, especially in, 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 in the colored and the black community, it's still a... My kind of stout stigma. It's All not. Right, it's okay. not a. It's not a thing yet. Yeah. Um, or he's a late developer. Or um, I hand later para. Yeah. We, we've got that um, stigma in our community, okay. so it's very difficult to get parents to open up to, mm. to this whole mm. thing mm. called autism. And it's and it's and the, and what makes it even more difficult is that every child is different. Yeah. Um, and if if I, I can only speak of of Keen. Um, he is not your typical autistic child. Okay. Um, he makes eye contact. He he loves being with friends, mm. and and listening to last week's show. Yeah. Um, I think Benji is the kid's name. Yeah. Benji is the opposite of yeah, that. Yeah, yes, yes, yeah. But they're both both on the spectrum. Okay. So so it's difficult for parents um, to to actually pick up uh, when the kid or or yeah. is autistic. So child. from I mean, if you November you're a few months old, what? With your projects, what like what have you experienced? What is the things that you said? Wow, we didn't know this, or uh, what are the lessons learned so far? The lessons learned actually is that uh, people, and and maybe this is was the most disappointing one as well. Um, there were so many people keen on 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 helping us, people that I spoke to, mm. and when it actually came to to assisting and and doing the work, yeah. um, no one was really available. Okay. Um, that was the hardest lesson lesson to accept. Um, I mean, I understand that a lot of people with COVID and all of that, uh, yeah. business are struggling and everyone is trying to make ends meet. So that, that was a, a, a difficult one to accept because there's so, so many kids out there that's got phenomenal talent. And I know you're big on talent and spotting talent, yeah. but everything is always built around um, what kids do in school, mm. uh, in, in mainstream school. Mm. And a lot of autistic children, they don't do well, well, not a lot of them, some of them don't do well in school. Okay. Um, but they excel on other, in other stuff. Okay. Um, once again, personal experience is Keen. Yeah. Keen loves sport. Yeah. Um, he plays golf, he plays rugby, he plays cricket. And if you ask him anything about a golf player or a rugby player, he'll be able to tell you, look, that guy plays for the Sharks, oh, wow. for South Africa, or for whatever the case may be. Yeah. But he's not that good in, in, in his schoolwork, if I can put it. Okay. He, he can't remember his schoolwork that good. Yeah. Um, yeah. So yeah, that was also a, a big thing for me to realize that there's that different kids as as already autism in itself is so so broad and wide mm. 
but the children, the individuals itself, is also their, 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 their way of thinking and doing things is also so, so yeah. wider. Yeah. So, I mean, you said the purpose is, of course, to accommodate the lower income uh, parents. Um, what, yeah, what's the big dream about? What's the big dream for the project? Look, we... The long-term goal is to have a school or not a school, a facility where we can accommodate these children. Okay. Um, and then at this, at this facility, we would be able to do uh, therapy and right. diagnosis and all the kind of treatment that they need. Um, and then also have like a skills school set up cool. where if they're not into maths or science or whatever, mm -hmm. and they love mm -hmm. outweg do not yeah. love well or whatever, yeah. we'll be able to assist them with okay. that. But I think even longer than that is to have a like an adult center um, because as parents, we, we, we tend to think of just our kids must finish school. But what will happen in school? Yeah, I think that last week they mentioned the same yeah, thing. Yeah, what will happen in school? Yeah. And I think that's the case with, with Poland School for Autism as well. They're only till 13 yeah, or 12. Yeah, there's not a high school. Yeah, there's yeah. not a high school. So, yeah. so there's a need for that also. Okay. So that's really the goal for, 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 for CUP, yeah. as I call it for short. That we can have a facility where we can accommodate all these children and accommodate everyone and just make sure that they become, I would almost say, normal adults yeah. at the end of the day. Because that's, yeah. as a parent, that's the most important thing. I want my son to be able to live his life as yeah. normal as possible. Yeah. So put me, put me in your shoes and your wife's shoes. So, um, of course, last week they chatted about early, early detection. Right? Yes. So your parents, your kid is born and everything. So what? When does that trigger come where you say, okay, you speak to your wife and say, maybe we must go, because they said last week, early diagnosis, very important. Yeah. When did you, when did you realize this and how old was Keen? I think for us, the big thing for us was that my wife studied early childhood development at varsity. Okay. So that we had that advantage. Um, so she could pick up the certain things that he was supposed to do at certain times in his life that he right. wasn't doing. Okay. And I was the one who was like, me man, mm. I saw it a bit star. You're the parent just <laughs> yeah, thinking to now. Exactly, yeah. I saw it a bit star, I can't stop. Yeah. And, and, and she just kept on and kept on. So we still, I think he was like three or four years old as well when we took him for his first uh, evaluation. Yeah. And um, yeah, that's when it started for us. And, and since then, I think it's... It flipped around. I'm more involved in 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 with Keen and his autism, okay. and uh, I'm the one really embracing this now. Yeah. Um, where my wife, I'm not saying she's not embracing yeah. it, but she's she's um, she's more in the background. She's she copes with it differently than I do. Yeah. And I think that's a big thing for for parents to accept it firstly, mm. because if you're did it take you did it take you a while to accept it? Because you said that the roles are flipped now. You took a bit longer. No, actually not. When 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 the diagnosis came out, I was like, okay, well, okay. this is the, the the end. I'm dealt, and yeah. I'm I'm I'm, I'm going to play with it. Yeah. So, yeah, and and now it's just like I say, um, mm. I take it as it comes every day. Yeah. Um, Keen is. A very likable child. Yeah. He gets into people's hearts very quickly, but also as quickly as he gets into your heart, he can mm -hmm. flip because he's got PDA as well, pathologic, pathological demand avoidance. Okay. So it's 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 on the spectrum of of, of autism. All right. Right. So you you you've basically got to negotiate everything with him. Okay. And, and the example I like to make is, are you going to bath or are you going to shower? Okay. That's always because <laughs> his first response will always be no. Okay. Even if he wants to do something mm. and he's willing to do it, he'll say no. Because that's just how his brain works. He'll, okay. he'll say no. So you always got to like negotiate mm. with him. Mm. Mm. So yeah, that's a big thing with Keen. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so tell me um, the project you've got all, what are the plans that you have for 2022? Um, last week you also chatted about parent involvement, parent platform chatting together. Because yeah. the parents that were here also said like, uh, the school has something, but they, they feel this needs to be like a platform where parents can sound comprat. Because the one, the one parent said, it's so nice to go to a braai. And the one parent is also has a son with autism. There's, a, there's an yeah. immediate connect. connection. So yeah. I think maybe in the Paul Valley, Wellington, maybe there's something. To be, to be quite honest, um, the, a lot of parents say that. Mm. But when it, when it actually gets to doing it, people mm. are not that keen right. to get involved. Because we've tried it once or twice, okay. um, and it didn't work. And secondly, also, uh, 
I think fathers normally take a bit longer mm. to accept the whole thing, and they're not very keen on 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 mingling with other dads simply yeah. because they. If you have a son, it's always like a rugby spiel. They talk like a rugby ball, a cup, a spring ball, jersey, a hangal, and it's And then <laughs> this, you run into this wall, and yeah. it's like, what now? Yeah. So dads normally struggle with that. And, and I've actually challenged a few dads already with, with yeah. autistic sons to come out and be more open about it. Mm. Um, mm. So, so, yeah, that's, it's, like I say, the people talk about the platform and, and, and willing to engage and all of that, but they're not always that willing okay. when it comes to doing it. Yeah. Um, I've tried arranging walks for, mm. for people in the, in the Arboretum where yeah. you can just go and just bring your son, your daughter, whatever, bring their bike and it's just, it's just get them out in fresh air and all yeah. of that. And people just don't pitch. So, oh, wow. so yeah, it's, okay. it's, 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 yeah, like I say, it's saying it's people say one thing and then when it comes to doing it, it mm. it's, it's not, no one, no one's really keen on doing yeah. it. I don't know why, but, um, but I think yeah. maybe it's maybe it's just I know a them thing. Maybe it must just yeah, continue, the, continue, the, continue, the, continue, and it will probably a possible. I, I think open. that's the that's the that's the thing. Yeah. And you also twenty twenty two our our plans. We yeah. we busy developing a a questionnaire um, where parents can because like I said, we're focusing on the lower income yeah. and not everyone can take their son to a therapist or whatever yeah. or their daughter for that. Yeah, matter. you see it's expensive. Because uh, it, it costs a lot of money. So myself and Liesel Hendricks, she's okay. from she's from Paul, she stays in, in Johannesburg right now. She's an occupational therapist. We're busy developing a questionnaire where um, people can then it's I think it's about fifteen questions where they answer the questions and Liesel will do evaluation for oh, free. Oh wow, nice. And then she'll then say, Okay, the, your nearest clinic is Wellington for instance. Okay. Um, there's a doctor so and so and should take the valuation further for free. Wow. So, so, so that's the type of thing that we're working on. Hopefully, mm. we'll be we'll be launching that uh, end of May. So, coming May now, um, we actually have our first uh, our trial parents actually going for a session tomorrow at the clinic in Wellington. Okay. So, yeah, we we we're looking to do that, and hopefully, because it's lower income, I'm, I'm thinking of maybe designing an app. Mm. Because not everyone can download a paper, mm. Mm. complete it, scan it, send it back. So that's yeah. a bit a bit of a of a of a hurdle right now that we need to overcome. But we're working on things to to make it more accessible for everyone. Yeah. Mm. So I mean, people want to get contact with you. Uh, people that want to get involved. Where do they go? What do they do? I mean, um, yeah, social media. Is there a website? Is there Facebook? Yeah, we've got a Facebook and a Instagram account. It's uh, Cup. You can just search Cup. That we will come up there, and then our website is still being manufactured. What do you call? It? What do you call? <laughs> developed. Developed. That's the word. <laughs> <laughs> developed. Yeah. So we we in that process. Um, um, I've got to give a shout out to Genote Media that that okay. registered our domain and and did all of that for us for free. Okay. Um, and then also Nadia Swan of. Ayota, digital, yeah, digital. digital. She's also doing some stuff for us for free. So I've got to give a shout out to them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, really appreciate that. So yeah, we on all social media. Website is busy being developed. Um, yeah. So yeah, guys. So Cup uh, Keen Coulson Autism Project. Uh, if you search it on Facebook and Instagram, it's very easy to get. Um, yeah, Byron Coulson. Thanks, dude. Thank you. Yeah. Um, see you. <laughs>